Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, ever since I started my channel, I said to keep your eyes on Emmanuel Macron, the current president of France, and the United Nations because they are going to play a huge role once a war on all fronts forms against the nation of Israel from its surrounding enemies. After this war occurs and Israel is victorious because the God of Israel will step in and defend Israel, after this war, order is going to have to be made out of the chaos. Someone is going to have to step in and save the day. The Jews are going to look to this man as a Messiah figure. Unfortunately, this is the false Messiah. The Bible calls this man the Antichrist. In fact, the book of John, chapter 5, verse 43, in context here, Jesus is talking to the Jews. He says this, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. This is referring to them rejecting Jesus the first time he showed up, the Jews. But he's saying here, there's a time coming when another is going to come. Again, in his own name, him you will receive. Referring to a time is coming when the Jews will accept this false Messiah, this Antichrist. Anyways, scripture makes it very clear. The rapture of the church will occur and then the Antichrist will be revealed. He will then confirm the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9 verse 27, to start the time of Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week, the seven year tribulation period. Anyways, ever since this war started against Israel about a month ago, it is spreading fast and this is leading to others joining in the fight which is going to need a leader to come forth to save the day, to make order out of the chaos once this war is over. And what are we seeing right now, guys? The United Nations and Emmanuel Macron are coming forth with plans to hold conferences and summits to end the conflict. I am not saying Emmanuel Macron is the Antichrist. I'm not saying that. We are not looking for the Antichrist on this channel. We are looking for Jesus Christ. However, I've done several videos on Macron, and he is definitely raising eyebrows to say the least. And whatever way you look at it, Emmanuel Macron and the United Nations are going to play a role in ushering in the future Antichrist and paving the way for the Daniel 927 covenant with many. This is the same Emmanuel Macron who appeared on the Time magazine cover like you can see on the screen here uh, with the title of The Next Leader of Europe. This is the same Emmanuel Macron who appeared on the cover of The Economist, like you can see on the screen here, with the title of Europe Savior? Question mark, and it shows Emmanuel Macron walking on water. This is also the same Emmanuel Macron that said he will rule like Jupiter, the king of the gods. Also, I covered this before. If you remember back in 2018, this article came out from the Times of Israel. Macron to unveil peace plan soon if Trump doesn't. So Trump was talking about revealing his peace plan, and Macron said he already had one made if Trump wasn't going to soon release his. But ever since I started my channel, I said, keep your eyes on Emmanuel Macron, keep your eyes on the United Nations, because once a war begins against the nation of Israel, watch for those two, Macron and the UN, to get more involved. And that brings me to what I want to share with you today. Many of you had sent me this. There's different sources reporting on it, but this is recently in from Politico. Look at the title of this, folks. Paris to host humanitarian conference on Israel-Hamas war, Macron says. Let me read some of this to you guys. French President Emmanuel Macron on Friday, just last Friday, announced a humanitarian conference would be held in Paris on November 9th, which is this Thursday, here in a couple days, and reiterated calls for a truce in Israel's offensive on the Gaza Strip to protect civilians. The French president said the conference, he's calling this a peace conference, so the French president, Emmanuel Macron, said the conference would be held on the margins of the Paris Peace Forum, which will take place 
this Thursday in the French capital. So just to reiterate how significant this is, folks. So we have about a month ago now, this war starts against Israel. And now you're starting to see Hezbollah, uh, the Houthis in Yemen, and all these other surrounding enemies of Israel uh, saying they're going to get more involved in the fight in the coming days and weeks. So this is going to be a, a war on all fronts against Israel. And we see now the call by French President Emmanuel Macron and the United Nations to hold summits and conferences in the days and weeks ahead to try to resolve this conflict. And in fact, again, this Thursday, French President Emmanuel Macron announced that there will be a peace conference held in Paris. And it's going to be held on the margins of the Paris Peace Forum. Now, I am not saying again that Emmanuel Macron is the Antichrist and that the Daniel 927 covenant is going to be confirmed this Thursday. I'm not saying that. I know some of you are going to accuse me of that. You can twist my words all you want. What I'm saying is the stage is continuing to get set and it's involving Emmanuel Macron and the United Nations. So we see this war happening against Israel and it's going to get more intense in the coming days and weeks. Make no mistake about that. Someone's going to have to come forth, forth once this is all over and clean up the mess, make order out of chaos. He's going to have all the answers. The Jews are going to look to him as the Messiah figure. He's going to have the answers. This man's going to be the, the problem solver, Mr. Fix-It-All, as I like to call him. And what we've been talking about for years, ever since I started my channel, it's happening, folks. Macron and the UN are getting more involved. Keep watching with me. Let's see what happens, Thursday. Let's see what comes of this peace conference. But we know the rapture happens before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period even begins. And this tribulation period, this Daniel 927 covenant, is casting its shadow. It's in front of us now, which means the rapture is even sooner. Jesus could come at any moment to rapture his church. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you need to get saved right now because tomorrow's not promised. The reality is heaven and hell are very real literal places, you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's horrific. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without him, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only name that can save you. And you can be saved right now. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. Don't wait another second. You can get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe he died for you. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now. Tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.